Home and auto insurance rates are surging, which obviously adds to financial pressure for consumers. Joining us right now to talk about why and what's happening with insurance costs is David Sampson. He's the president and CEO at the American Property Casualty Insurance Association. Um, David, let's dig into this because I've talked to so many people who have gotten sticker shock when they reopen their bills for the year and see what the new premiums are going to be. Massive, massive increases, both on car insurance and on home insurance. What, what's driving that? The core driving factor is 40-year uh, record high inflation. Uh, cars are more expensive to repair. Homes are more expensive to repair uh, after uh, natural catastrophes. Uh, since the beginning of the pandemic, uh, home uh, construction material is uh, increased about 40%. Uh, construction labor has increased 33 uh, percent. You're seeing increased storm activity all over the country. Uh, convective storms just last week, severe tornadoes in the Midwest, wildfires in the uh, far west. Um, all of this is contributing to uh, the uh, increased losses that uh, the PNC industry is experiencing. Uh, on top of that, you have uh, social inflation uh, compounding the economic inflation, uh, the lawsuit abuse that is passed on uh, in all of these major nuclear settlements that are out there is having a real impact uh, on insurance availability and affordability. Some of those sounds like sound like issues that were one-offs, uh, pretty big sticker shock items, but not necessarily things that are going to continue to climb. When you when you point to Construction costs, construction labor, construction materials. I mean, those were things that we knew came up pretty sharply, but we have seen inflation come down in those arenas. So are these things that you think are going to last? Because some of the others that you point to, things like more frequent storms, things like um, people suing more frequently or committing fraud more frequently, which of these are going to tail off and which aren't? Where, where do you see prices headed from here? Well, uh, the loss costs are increasing far faster than insurance rates have caught up. And so fundamentally, uh, you're not going to see a stabilization in insurance rates until uh, those rates end up matching the, the loss cost that, that we've experienced. The industry was the industry as a whole, the, the entire property and casualty industry, homeowners and uh, uh, auto, uh, was recently downgraded by AM Best, the primary rating agency for insurance companies. First time in history that that has happened. So uh, the outlook is pretty clear that we have a long way to go before uh, insurance uh, rates catch up to the rate of inflation. They have been uh, lagging far behind what we have experienced in losses over the last uh, three years. I, I mean, I know some insurance companies that are still pretty profitable. Is that not the case for most insurers? Well, insurance, there are a number of companies that have reported good uh, earnings. Uh, but what you see happening is insurers all across the country are having to rebalance their book of risk because there's simply no safe place. Um, and, and insurance is all about uh, balancing your book of risk. Uh, and as I mentioned, you've got uh, you, you've had consecutive years of, of record hurricane losses in the Gulf and the coastal areas, uh, severe convective storms throughout the Midwest, uh, wildfires in the far west. And the other factor is you have more and more people moving to more catastrophe prone areas, mm. building more expensive houses in those areas. And insurance is about uh, all about the expected future losses uh, that those demographic factors uh, uh, indicate. Meaning what? That, that insurance companies are not going to insure places like the Florida coast, places like California, where you're dealing with wildfires? Well, the last thing we want to do as an industry is pull back from uh, the most important insurance markets in, in the country, and California is the largest insurance market. But for consecutive years now, uh, the uh, industry is losing money in uh, California homeowners insurance. And uh, the, the regulatory environment in, in California is antiquated. It's a 40-year-old regulatory environment with Prop 103. Um, uh, insurers are waiting up to a year from a rate filing request 
before that rate filing request is acted upon. There's no other business in, in the country that can experience the kind of inflation that we've seen in recent years if they have to wait to adjust their prices right. you uh, have for to go an to each entire state year. And ask the regulators to allow you to charge more money for it, which is why it may seem as a huge sticker shock when people get the bill and open it up. Like, wait a second, this is years of, of gains that are kind of catching up at once. Um, the, the, the question, though, for consumers may be, how, again, how, how many more sort of increases can they see? Will they be able to get insurance? And what do you say to each of those? Well, first of all, you need to understand, everyone needs to understand that insurance is highly regulated at the state level. And so insurers cannot just arbitrarily increase prices. They have to go through an extensive rate filing process, provide the actuarial data of uh, recent losses and expected losses going forward for state insurance departments to uh, approve those rate increases. Regula regulators have two primary responsibilities. One is to ensure the solvency of insurers so that they are able to pay future claims. And the secondly is market conduct to make sure that rates are adequate, not unfair, and, and uh, not uh, um, unfairly discriminatory. So uh, there is a very extensive process that uh, insurers have to go through to be able to get a rate increases that reflect the risk on the ground. Insurers are the canary in the coal mine. They reflect the increased risk profile of uh, these markets all around the country. David, um, this is part of the reason we do have the CPI coming out today. Auto insurance is picked up in the CPI. It's debatable whether home insurance increases are picked up, and that, that could be part of the reason that consumers are feeling much more pinched than necessarily the headline numbers would, would explain. How big have the increases been in, in home insurance? Well, uh, the... I don't have a specific answer on because it depends on region of the country. It depends on uh, your house and, and the kind of car that you drive. But I can tell you that uh, insurers have uh, been experiencing uh, the rate increases have not kept pace with the losses, the insured losses that insurers have incurred over the last uh, three years. Uh, since the beginning of uh, the pandemic and the inflationary environment. So this is why inflation is such a, a profound, has such a profound impact on consumers. And I think uh, is why uh, when, you, when you look at surveys out there, people do not uh, respond that the economy is as good as some of the headline numbers would indicate because inflationary uh, cost is a, is a terribly regressive tax on consumers and it filters throughout the entire economy.